This is Rastagal, aka Angelic Empress. Welcome you to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and light my candles. I just lighted a, um, a orange candle to work on the sacral chakra sacral chakra healing tonight <laughs> how's my collective it's pretty late um but i wanted to go ahead and just i felt like doing a reading um actually felt led to okay let's get this in the mood it's lit <laughs> We're going to go ahead with um, water signs. Uh, the next sign that I'm going to go ahead and read for will be for Pisces. Okay. My table's already been cleansed and blessed and my cards as well with a obsidian stone. Okay. That helps with clearing negative energies and help with grounding and protecting okay i'm gonna go ahead and get started again i hope my collective is doing okay tonight i have um archangel metatron at the top i'm gonna read from the bottom to the the back to the front um, I'm not gonna get into detail unless these come out in the spread as I shuffle we're going to see what angels are watching over you or what angels you can call on to assist and guide you okay in the back I have Archangel Zara Shell. Okay, that angel helps with record keeping. And this angel is the dominion over memory. Okay, when you are meditating, you can use a purple candle and you may also see a purple light. Archangel Metatron, he's the, the one who sits next to God. All right. <laughs> he also helps guide and also helps you with messages and helps you to be a channeler. He channels. His color to meditate on would be fiery red, uh, fiery red light. And if you are burning a candle, you can burn um, a red candle for Archangel Metatron. Powerful, powerful angel. My Pisces and my collective. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle to get just a few from my spread here tonight. Burning a nice, lovely meditation candle for myself and my collective. It smells so good. Pisces, I also have my chakra stones like all aligned here on my spread. Um, possibly uh, you can work on your chakras, each and every one of them, okay? With meditation, uh, with using candles or incense. Okay, I just mentioned I was burning a meditation incense and I'm burning candles. So definitely use that during your, you know, grounding and meditating yourself with yourself. Okay, what arch, arch angels? Okay, that one poked out. 
Any other archangels for my Pisces tonight? I'm speaking in a nice, low, monotone voice. It's pretty late. I don't want to wake up my kids. They are here <laughs> resting. Okay. Any other angels to watch over my Pisces? Any other angels to watch over my Pisces collective? Whoa, that was a lot. Just a few, please. Thank you so much, spirit guides and ancestors. I ask for my messages to be of guidance and of healing tonight. Guidance and healing tonight. For my Pisces. Okay. Any other angels for my Pisces? I always get hot when I start my uh, my messages. That one was about to pop out. Any other any other jumpers? Any other Amazing angels to watch over my Pisces for guidance and healing and protection. Any other angels for my Pisces? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. I'm seeing some new ones here okay is that all for my Pisces all right we're gonna stop there all right Pisces I have four on my my table okay we have a lot of crown chakra going on here for my Pisces and we have a sacral chakra and I was actually that's I'm burning that color tonight for y'all <laughs> so this is already connecting collective okay I'm gonna go ahead and pick Uh, we'll go ahead and pick Archangel as um, Azrazel. Okay, Archangel Azrazel. He helps you to release anything that's blocking your spiritual growth. Okay. He also helps you with death and guidance. He is the angel of death. Um, he helps you with spiritual protection again and guidance I don't be alarmed um, he has a tough job you know like most of us do here on this earth but he guides um, the afterlife he guides people into the right direction um, he helps you get over uh, the death process fairly easy you know, um, when you're meditating with this angel, you'll see uh, purple light. And if you uh, would like to burn a candle for Archangel Az Azrazel, um, that would be the color to use. Other things that this Archangel has done, you know, if you can see it here. Okay, it's a little blurry. Um, he was one of the four angels that Allah sent to the earth to collect souls to create Adam. That's amazing. Okay, so he helped create it, Adam. 
This angel also helps you to move smoothly through process of death, like I've stated before. He helps you remove blocks from your spiritual path. He hears your guidance of your spirit. He helps you to ease your grief. He teaches mankind the difference between truth and illusion. So that is definitely a powerful angel here. They all are powerful and have a mission on this earth, you know, uh, this mortal world to do um, because they're all, they're all immortal. So um, this archangel, when you're calling, uh, again, don't be alarmed. He is the death angel, one of them, but he helps you uh, get through, you know, Pisces. If you have experienced uh, that in your life, like a death, uh, my apologies or my condolence um, with that, with any areas of your life that you're going through, if you have experienced that. Um, but also, this could also relate to death and rebirth for you, Pisces, okay, with a lot of transitionings that you're going through um, that could, you know, result in things being taken, be things being released, things being uh, or need to be released uh, for you to receive that transitioning. Okay, and this Archangel, as Rizal, like be careful, collective, like when you're calling on these angels again, they know when you are really, really needing help and assistance, and they're listening to your heart, your heartbeat, uh, when you're calling and asking for their help, their guidance, their protection, direction, and to help you clear out anything in all areas of your life, you know, that you're going through, um, when you're calling on your guidance, they're here to help you in that way. But it has to be definitely sincere, you know. Um, it can't be any type of wicked or negative um, just negative influences, you know, influencing you to do anything with these angels because they won't help you. <laughs> um, but the intentions has to be true, has to be pure, has to be real. Okay. For these archangels to come and assist you and to help you to be there by your side. Okay. Calling on this deaf angel is no joke. You know, you don't call on this death angel for pranks. You don't call on this angel to uh, send any type of negative uh, influences or harm to nobody. Because that's not what these angels are here for. Okay, collective. And if you're calling on this death angel, I don't know why I have to say this, but if you are going to call on this angel and... Don't think about the consequences if you are having negative intentions with any of these angels, but especially with this one. Uh, he will come to your requests. He will be there. He will be in your corner, standing and waiting, you know, to, to hear you. And if it's not of good intentions and it's not pure, it's not of the light, it's not a valid reason. Honesty from your heart beat. That angel, this deaf angel, will come and collect. You know, he gets that request from Ra or, you know, whoever you serve, God, Jehovah Jireh, whoever. He gets that answer from him for the final say so. Okay, so let's not call on these angels to play because these angels don't play. They don't. 
especially this one. He will come in his wings and he will come in and collect. He will come for souls. Okay. I'm speaking with um, truth, but also of facts and of um, like just realness because just to experience that or hear someone experiencing me hearing alone, someone telling me that they've seen that angel, this angel at their bedside, in their corner, waiting. You call and request these angels, they will come, okay? And if you have no valid reason from your heart, just no valid point, it's a waste of time, okay? And that time is not, is it won't be on your side, okay? If someone has passed Pisces wise, you know, someone has lost a Pisces in their life or Pisces has passed blessings, guidance in the afterlife and, you know, the heavens, you know, my prayers and condolence to any Pisces that has passed. I'm going in deep because um, my father was a Pisces. So that's, this is, this message is on point um, to see the death angel here. Hmm. So that's why I definitely went hard, but yeah, that these angels don't play collective. <laughs> All right. In spite of that, um, saying purple, it seems like Pisces, uh, we need to work on a, our crown chakra. Okay. So you call on this archangel to help you again with your spiritual, with spiritual guidance. Okay. Archangel Gadi L. Wow. Pisces. He is the God, an angel that gives this message here that we all should relate to or can, you know, use in our daily life, repeat it to ourselves and just say, God is my wealth. Gadiel reminds you to say that God is our wealth, spirit, positive light and energy the father himself, whether or whether or not, you know, whatever you believe in Ra, or if you believe in um, God being a female, whatever it is, the universe, you know, you will say that along with this sentence, that, that the universe is my wealth. God is my wealth. When you're meditating, you will see uh, the color yellow or green. You can also use the candle to use to meditate for Gadiel to call on him. He helped um, one of the several guards of the gate of the south wind. So he guards the gate. He assists other angels, other guards. Okay. He also helps you to maintain a positive outlook on life. He helps you repair a damaged relationship. He helps you to improve your job performance. He helps you to transfer your life. He helps you to release limiting beliefs. And he also helps you to create abundance. This angel helps you to war off evil helps you to uh, release anything that is less than unconditional love. And we all need that in our life in regards to the universe being our wealth. God is not just, or the universe is not just out here 
existing. He's watching over us. He wants us to implement him in our lives each and every day. You know, you wake up and it's just a brand new day every day. Um, the other day when I came home, my children was like, regarding my pet, they was like, she's always happy or she's always jumping at you or just happy to see you. And I said, that's every day. <laughs> so I don't know why I mentioned dog. Um, maybe Pisces, you have a pet that adores you, that is just so loyal to you, um, like me. And every day they just look at, even if you see them throughout the day and you come in later, if you step out for a few minutes and come back, it's like every second, every minute, every hour, they're happy to see you. It's like just brand new to them seeing you because our pets miss you. Maybe your spiritual um, guide or spiritual pet is a dog, possibly. Um, if you have lost a pet, my condolences. But... Um, you do have a loyal friend with pets, period. Uh, possibly you're looking into getting a pet. <laughs> uh, whether that be a feline or a canine, uh, just let uh, the universe guide you to uh, your spiritual animal, like what you should have as a, um, just as your companion. Um, this, this is weird. My, I feel like my father's energy is here. <laughs> Seriously. Because um, he also had a dog, too. Wow. Hey, Dad. <laughs> okay. Work on your crown chakra, Pisces. Okay. Again, this is a lot about the crown chakra. We're going to go ahead and look at is Raphael matches with my orange candle here. This is working with your uh, sacral chakra that controls your hormonal balances, um, just your, your yin and yang, just balancing your your sexuality, uh, creativity is connected in between your solar and your root. <clears throat> so <clears throat> uh, foundation can play a part in your sacral chakra. My throat just went out. <clears throat> Let me go and drink some tea. Trying to spill the tea here. <laughs> the tea that I was drinking um, is naturally made um, from different herbs. Um, that helps with your body aches and um, also to war off negative energies the tea I'm drinking. So possibly um, Pisces, you know, if you're looking for a tea, you know, create some natural herb teas or you can go search for some teas to help you uh, with uh, your immune system and just the flow of your, your body and your energies. Okay. I don't know why I had to relate that, but just wanted to throw that in there. Anything we put in our body, it just it helps with all our chakras and definitely to war off any energies negative wise. And that would, you know, help your immune system and your body flow. I'm glad to just relay that information to you. So maybe you're looking deeper into herbs. Pisces, possibly, the truth and the meaning of 
the herbs that you're making, creating, using in your food or you're drinking. Okay. Is Raphael is this third angel. He is called the burning one. And he blows the trumpet on judgment day. He helps you bring music into your life. And he was a prophet. Okay. Uh, this archangel also helped people to burn off their limiting thoughts and results of their old behavior. So I've mentioned from reading the other cards, uh, one of the other angels also mentioned of burning off your, uh, your illusions, your limiting thoughts. So that's something definitely Pisces uh, that you can work on and call on those angels to help you. He also helps you to inspire to sing, to lift your spirits. He will also fill your heart with deep sense of of uh, gratitude and uh, help you to see what miracles lies ahead that you can receive as the gift of life. He will show you how to fill your days with beauty, Pisces. That is beautiful. Um, if you're into music, he will help you to write music. Um, elevate, not elevate, I think I said that before, alleviate <laughs> depression, Pisces. He will also heal an old wound or injury, increase your musical abilities again, and help you experience the power of gratitude. I've said that twice already. So Pisces, definitely give thanks in your life. No matter what you're going through, call on these angels. First and foremost, you call on your father. You call on uh, whoever you're serving first. And then you ask for the universe, father himself, to send the right angels to help guide and direct you. But each and every day, wake up from that dog story. Wake up each and every day like it's a brand new day. And give thanks. Give gratitude. Okay? Like that dog. My pet. They come in, like I said, and just happy every minute, every hour, every second. Give thanks. Okay? Pisces. And my collective overall. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish it out with Bath Coal. And that one is a female angel. <laughs> the other ones were males. Um, this angel helps with prophecy. So I have saw in the other angel readings, it talked about prophet. So Pisces, you must have a good voice. You must speak of, uh, you must have good character. <laughs> you must speak of wisdom. Pisces are usually wise um, beings, soulful wise beings, speaking from experience. Bath Cole helps you to have a heavenly voice and they're the daughter of voices. So again, you know, of speaking, um, is in your uh, life path being a prophet okay call on these angels to help you okay she also um, helps offers us a gift of profound insight into our future and she encourages loving clear communication uh, she helps deepen your experience of love with yourself, with your spirit. So she helps you to tap in, tune, tap in, tap in with yourself, you know, to speak of truth, to speak of life, hopefully. We got to be careful what we say and what we speak out of our mouths. And when you are prophesying, when you are speaking, 
it's really good to, you know, just speak life, life into ourselves and into others. She helps you to uh, find forgiveness, helps you to improve your singing, speak with great clarity, decide what you want to create, de um, deepen your availability to love and to see the possibilities of your future and what it contains. So that is all Pisces for your reading. Thank you for sticking around, Collective. Use these angels for guidance and direction. Until next time, this is Rastagal, a.k.a. Angelic Empress. See you again. Take care, Collective.